Last week, we tilled up the food plot at the driving range using our turning plow and then went over it with the disc plow to get it ready for seeding. And with Hurricane Helene coming through this week, it was time to get started seeding as we had a lot of rain moving our way. With a 100% chance of rain moving in, I took the gator and large spreader over to the field to get the seed in the ground just in time. I ended up using 100 pounds of buck forage oats and mixed in some crimson clover and then added another 25 pounds of ryegrass. And once I had all the seed in, it was time for the fun part, which is to drive all around the tilled up area, trying to get the seed spread to cover as much of the dirt as possible. I bought this pull behind spreader a few years ago and it works great for large areas and saves a bunch of time and energy from having to do this with a hand spreader. Once I got finished spreading all the seed, I got two bags of a triple 13 fertilizer and went over the entire field again. After this, there will be nothing left to do other than come back in about four to five weeks and spread a round of nitrogen. Next up, I got a large pallet that I had saved up from the house build as it makes for a perfect drag. I hooked it up to the gator and drove around the field for the third time to try and rake all the seed into the dirt. This is another tool that has been highly effective for me and I'm glad that I kept it around. The next day after seeding, the rain started moving in and we really lucked out with the hurricane as it moved farther east than expected, so we just got a solid rain but avoided the heavy winds and the devastating flooding that we were worried about. And since we are expecting heavy flooding rains, I decided not to seed the tee box or the fairway over at the house but once the storm went through, it was time to get to work on the fairway. I had to start out by mowing it low again, and then it was time to get the air fire out and chop it up to prepare for the seed. I wouldn't have been able to do this before the storm because the ground was bone dry and the blades would have just bounced off the ground. But with the four to five inches of rain we got, it was now the perfect time for airification. And at this point, I needed somebody to help drive the mower around the fairway pulling the aerifier, and it's a job that requires zero energy or hard work, and therefore, I had the perfect helper who was willing to take it on. I told Wilson that I need him to go around the fairway about 10 times to make as many holes as he could, and he did just that. But as soon as he was finished, and it was time to start doing some real work, he seemed to just disappear. Before seeding, I had to get the bunker ready as well, so I got out the garden tiller and just went around the entire area. Last year, I had bought in a few loads of dirt to build the hill up around the bunker a little bit higher, but we don't need to do that again as tilling it will work just fine. I also raked the bunker really well to try and pull up all the dead weeds from when we gassed it about a month ago. When I bring in sand to start leveling the fairway, I'll also put a few extra loads in here to make it look nice again. But at this point, it was time to bring out the push spreaders and get the seed in the ground. I started out by spreading lime, which I didn't do last year, but should really help as soil sample tests advise to do so. After spreading lime, I filled the drop spreader with rye seed and went around the edges of both the bunker and the putting green. 
I always do this first as it helps me get as much seed as I can around the edges while not getting too much excess seed in the sand or on the grain. When I'm done with the drop spreader, I switch it out for the broadcast spreader and from there, it's time to cover every square inch of the fairway with new seed. After spreading the seed, I spread a triple 10 fertilizer, and after that, I attach the yard roller to the mower and drive around the fairway a handful of times to compact the seed into the ground. Once done with everything, I went ahead and watered it all by hand just to be safe. However, we had a really nice gentle rain come in all night, which was perfect. With all this rain combined with cooler weather moving in, we should have the fairway and the food plot looking great in four to six weeks. This should be a big improvement from last year as we didn't even get the seed out until the second week of November due to a long drought. As soon as the ryegrass is getting thick and healthy, we will make our first few mows and then start spreading sand to get it smooth and level, so be sure to subscribe and follow along if you want to see how it looks next spring. Thanks everyone for watching, and we will see you soon.